training peaks come straight to your watch. Yes. Yeah, today is 10 times 1, 1K. On the ten, 10 times 1K? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Is there a target pace for today? Yeah, it's just, just say like, do like three minutes with one minute rest. Okay. And yeah, 4K warm up, cool down. After, after the, the injury with the ankle twist, it will come in. I mean, it's pretty great that you can move at three minute Ks so soon after an, an, an ankle injury, so. Yeah, you will see, you know? <laughs> now we will prove it. <laughs> yeah. So maybe let's talk a little bit about the ankle thing yeah. while you're warming up. How did you, what was the injury? How did it happen? How long did it take yeah. to get back? On dirt road and bike, that was a little bit of a problem. And I, I, I just missed one stone. It was not really like, like the surface in Eatness. Not a lot of stones, but it was a really big one. And I, yeah, and then just, I twist my ankle and then I fall down. And yeah, at the beginning, I thought, okay, yeah, let's, let's that's how it works. But like after two came more, I say, no, no way. I go in an other car and yeah, go home. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, it's swollen so big. It was really crazy and at first it looks not so good. Then we went to an MRI in Eldoret Hospital. It was really great, so we just go in and go to an MRI. It's not, like in, in Germany, it's not possible to just <laughs> enter somewhere and get an MRI. Normally you have to wait a long time. Then we sent the pictures directly to some doctors in Germany and Belgium. Mm -hmm. and. It was a yeah, little rupture on one of the ligament and yeah and then yeah you have to hear about the body first thing is like to get all the swollen outside the body and we did it really really well so i got twice uh, physiotherapy uh, in the morning and in the afternoon mm -hmm. to, to treat like like a lymph drainage to get it out i also used the uh, like you know the the trousers I, I use from from Sison. The it's compression, like, a, like yeah, compression, the compression trousers. Yeah. Yeah. So I also use it like twice a day, a half an hour. That uh, lymph drainage is better working out to the body, the fluid. Then I, for sure, like I do it like like three till five times. I take a, like the bath was always filled with cold water and ice. I just put my foot on it. That was also one thing. And then I also have a special equipment. It's called like the Repulse Tiefenstrahler. It's like red cold light. And yeah, the, the damaged cells that they recovered uh, faster. So, and I think like with this equipment, it recovered like double fast till maybe third times faster yeah. than without. And that was the reason I think after one week I, I can yeah, go back to running. Yeah. Um, normally maybe it, it needs like two weeks, three weeks. It depends completely on the ligament rupture, but yeah, I think that was like really luck. Yeah. But yeah, I think without the physiotherapist and the trousers, in the equipment, like I wouldn't stand like today. <laughs> yeah, no. It's really awesome that, that the national team also bring the fuse here. Yeah, I mean, speaking to you over the last few weeks, it sounds like your team does things really professionally. And so I'm sure that the whole thing, like, yeah, yeah. treated properly, properly. What were the, the physio sessions like? What were, was it mainly massage or was it stretching? Yeah, like all, all of it, because at the beginning it was completely like the guy can, can send you some pictures like <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not delicious. So, but uh, yeah, like massage and also movements on the ankle uh -huh. because it's completely stiff at the beginning, you can't move any direction. So yeah, that is, was really hard. And also like after two days, I started with uh, spinning to just move my legs. Uh -huh. So it was not that I lying the whole time in a bed. Yeah. Of course I put the, 
like also elevation in my bed just to put the, my suitcase under the mattress that I always have like your legs going up yeah the, in the night it's, that's also was also nice in the morning it will put a little bit of food out um, but the spinning was one thing and after four days I already started with with uh, elliptical and yeah that, that, that was really good okay we had the possibility in the gym awesome. to move a little bit the legs so if you had any advice to give to people who have suffered similar injuries uh, what would it what would be your first piece of advice the most important yeah, thing? I'll let it check from a professional like we did with the MRI if it's possible as fast as you can yeah and talk to a doctor and go to a physiotherapist okay because they, the people know what to do okay and yeah and yeah if you had some yeah like completely concentrate because I spent like maybe three four hours for for recovery for the ankle every day so like it was completely attacked today it wasn't just rest it was like yeah work to get it better yeah that's true just not 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 do nothing and lying in the bed and wait so try to do something so now maybe on to a little bit about you you're a top german longer distance runner yeah. Specializing in what 10 kilometer to marathon. Yeah, it's true like Years ago. I was a top 5,000 meters runner. Okay, like from 240 until would say like 219 I was specialized in track races and I also got the PP from 1310. Why not trying the marathon? Yeah, like in the first year I already got it to the Olympics it was really nice and with a 208 49 yeah, after like eight months of of training crazy i'm i'm really satisfied and thankful um and get the yeah that the coaches get me to this this performances also trained trained almost everything alone and that was the reason why why i, I moved my old coach uh, and say like i need a group and i found it in the in like a Belgian team, it's uh -huh. a Belgian coach, Tim Moyo, and yeah, like four or five good, really, really good uh, Belgium runners. But we are not only like Belgians, so uh, of course I'm, I'm from Germany, but they have like a British runners, Swedish runners from France, yeah, and that, that's really, really nice. So to run like yeah, together, it's it's awesome you can reach completely different level yeah when you're with, with people let's, carrying let's you. Uh, turn around that i can start there <laughs> with the headwinds <laughs> sure the rest of the group most of them have gone back already hey that's true and now with because of the ankle twist we do a different schedule yeah it's, it's really also we are true but the coach looks completely individual of every athlete mm. so sometimes it's it's the same but sometimes it's like okay no you have an afternoon completely free and then the other one has on the next day because you really look on the bodies separately and also like where's the next goal where you come from what was your last competition you're more tired than the other one yeah so and that's I, really good about this that, that the coach like completely looks separately and you're saying your coach you guys are quite scientific with your approach to it in terms of taking lactate uh, yeah. measurements at the end of workouts and things like that to determine your your fatigue yeah. and, uh... and that's not not the only thing I think like that is like like one thing a lot of people do also like with the heart heartbeat um, but also we measure like diet like hydration rate uh -huh. so we had some some measurement to put here on the tongue and it says like okay yeah you have to drink more <laughs> Because of course in high, high altitude you lose a lot of energy, you sweat more, the pulse world is more high and you know it and you drink more but you, sometimes you think like okay it's, it's really high I think I drink more one liter more maybe a day. It was also a good thing at the beginning because we laughing about it but like if you test it twice and then some athletes was really really high so the hydration was not good and it was, I think, a good thing 
because sometimes the athlete you don't know why I'm feeling not so good. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a little bit of fluid. And yeah, also like we measure the um, uh, the oxygen level. You can measure it easily with the watch. Mm -hmm. It says like if you like should be like between like 90 to 95 percent in this high altitude. So, but yeah, now the next race will be Berlin, the 10K. Nice. On the road in March. And one week later, on the 20th of March, is the New York Half Marathon. And I think this will be really, really special because it's like, like more on international races. It's not like, like, a, like you want to go really fast. You just want to yeah, perform well. Beat, beat, uh, beat the guys, man against the man. That's really what what I want. Not not only watch the time. Yeah. It's like that. That's the reason why I love like Olympics, World Championships. You want to race? Teams. Yeah. You can. You don't know how it ends. With a completely planned race, you have pacemakers. There's some groups in the front from the beginning. And yeah, you just focus on the time. It's also a mental thing. It's really really hard always have to split times on it and say oh no we are like some seconds slower or oh maybe we are too fast now can i reach the goal yeah with a normal race on a, like a hilly course and like in new york you know from the beginning it's all only yeah to be the first one like yeah, but i think like this year will be really crazy i heard the organizer a lot of athletes want to run there and i think there there will be some medals from olympics and it works, so I'm really excited. Sweet. Also, my first ta time in New York. I think, like, yeah, that's gonna be special. Really, really, really nice because, yeah, for sure you're not getting a lot of oxygen here. Yeah. Um, and if it's fall, fall a little bit down, okay, it means like you're training maybe a little bit too, too fast, and you can slow down a little bit on the training, on the easy runs. Um, yeah, cool. that's also really nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the pin for uh, getting a blood out of, of the ear okay. for the lactate. Okay. So you just pin a little bit and then we will measure after three and six uh, times uh, 1k. And then I see if I can go maybe faster or have to slow down. Yeah. Awesome. Interesting that you take from the ear. I've only seen the guys with yeah, the finger. From the, from the finger it's you can do it by yourself because i think you don't see it but uh normally like on the ear it's more it's more exactly okay because yeah a lot of sweat is here and also you know like the arms moving a little bit different the blood is yeah i think the, the movements are faster and therefore it, sometimes it's much higher here and then yeah i say it's not nothing interesting this is more exactly yeah. And then I see you running with the prototypes. They're coming in the market soon, so also they're running in Valencia with, with it, so... Nice. Yeah. Is this the first or the second version? It's the, sec the second version. It's, it's really nice one, so I'm looking forward to the first races with it. <laughs> I think we're ready, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. So will that will that keep bleeding slowly? Or like will it I know stay? It will, uh, no, it will like you 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 will pull it away, uh, like or okay. the blood and then take a fresh one. But you won't need to pr prick it again. Is what it uh, like? Yeah, you just you yeah, just like, take the blood. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do it. Like two minutes, please. <laughs>
Okay, 258. Nice. It's always a little bit of different feeling, the first one. You don't know is it the right pace. And of course, your heart rate going up from almost like zero <laughs> after the stretching part. But it's nice feeling that the rolling is coming more to normal after the ankle twist. Okay, next one. How slow are you taking your rest? Obviously, it's just by feel, but yeah, to give I a... just do very easy. But the coach often want like do nothing. Okay, just standing still. But I never did it in like yeah, 20 years of career. <laughs> so for me, it's like it is really crazy. Uh, but I think the pulse will be a little bit more down. But yeah, I like it a little bit, a bit of movement. That I also can like start again, but normally it should be like, yeah, if you do it like this, the rest is like really, really easy. Really, really easy. Yeah. He put like 10 meters in it in the plan, but it's like, okay, it's just random. <laughs> <laughs> they put 10 meters in the plan. <laughs> Just put a little bit of sweat away and the old blood. And then yeah. pressure. We'll do it. Okay. It needs only a little bit of blood. Is it okay? I think it will be okay. Okay, you can save me the luck up. Are you going to tell him in the middle of his set or at the end of this one? Kazim Zuri Kaka. No, he needs to go. Oh no, I'm finished. <laughs> well done, well done. You want them to tell you the lactate now? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think of 4.5 like this. But the kilometer was 250 for not three minutes. <laughs> Four done. And next one, eight after half. <laughs> What were you drinking in the bottle just now? That was uh, the competition from Sponsor. It's my sport food brand. My sponsor, yeah. Okay. So, yes. so Switzerland, it's like 98% of carbon hydrates, some salt in it and some minerals. Yeah, already in the strap. Perfect. Okay, 3.7. 3.7. Good.
Last one. Last one. Sweet. Nice man. So at the end getting a little bit hot, but the problem is you have to train in the heat because the European organizers they decided to they do a marathon at 11:30 in the middle of the August. They are a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, so therefore we also do it like like that. So you deliberately come out to train at 10 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Lactate at the end? 3.5. Sweet. Stable. Yeah. What were you saying about the carbon shoes? Yes, to really train with it because, and also do some strength training for the back because else you will get problems because it pushes you so hard. Yeah. Of course, like your back going down and then it push you and with the hip and all this. So that, that's, that's the, I think, the most problem from the athletes they have with carbon shoes is back problems. Interesting. Because it pushes to you too hard, therefore you have to do it like, like this stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing you have to train, and we really keep a tent of of gym training. We have uh, only yeah, one extra uh, coach for for fitness in in our team because it's better than the coach concentrate on on running and the fitness yeah, yeah. coach on, on on gym and for your body. Yeah. Because it's completely different uh, education. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's really good that we have like this. Awesome. But thanks for letting me join today. Yeah, that's certainly. Thank you for taking some awesome videos. <laughs> <from me. Pleasure. laughs> Unfortunately, we're out the group because a lot of athletes left already. And yeah, because of the change of training, like the, the rest of the group, like, train individual. Yeah. But it makes sense to not don't push it too hard. So how long are you still around for? So I was here now for one month. Yeah, but like, yeah, one, one week. <laughs> it was not really nice. <laughs> but still, I think I improved here when I come back. And that is the most important thing. Nice. And you're happy with today's session, huh? Went well? Yes, of course. You're like, you, you started and you don't know if it will be good because you never get that, that fast after two weeks. So, <laughs> therefore it was really, really nice. Awesome. And now, how did, what do your next few days look like? Recovery days I, uh, The first thing uh, is to talk with my coach and to plan the last, last days, but I think it will be like, uh, like, I think tomorrow will be uh, 18K and then some alternative training in the afternoon. And, and I think it will be like two times easy on Tuesday and on Wednesday the last workout. I guess it will be like three Ks. And then on the last day when we travel home, I think it will be also 18K. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. How far ahead do you and your coach normally plan? Are you uh, normally it was planned from the beginning of the camp till the Oman half marathon. So completely a plan for that period. Damn. And yeah, he said like, oh my guy, like I spent my hours to build the training center and you just twist your ankle and I have to lead every single <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the other part. Like the coach like spent a lot of, of hours thinking really what's the best and then like this happened. Yeah. And you have to reorganize everything. And that's part of the job. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not going like straight. It's always going sometimes down and. Yeah. Awesome. No, thanks, Richard. That was sick. Thank you. I'll check you maybe for another one at some point.